Hola, buenos días, bienvenido en el mío canal de YouTube. Eh, el mío nombre es Joana y soy un poliglota. Y uh, ahora quiero imparar español con vosotros. Eh, Estoy por dividir eh, el mio método de imparar idiomas. Eh, I never study Spanish. I hear Spanish when I travel. Uh, and I um, know Italian, which is useful for me, but for people that want to follow and try to learn Spanish with me, I'm going to share the two books that I'm going to use to create. We're going to follow this. It's called Learn Spanish. Uh, this is Beginner, Intermediate and Advanced. And then this is my more favorite book. We gonna do Spanish language using these two books. Once again, I have never been to school. I wanted to go. However, I know this is very expensive and I decide that I don't want to do this yet. I don't want to pay so much money for school. So I'm gonna do this uh, process, which I normally do alone. I'm gonna do it with you on those videos called learn Spanish with me. I repeat, I, I never study Spanish. So this whole step by step will be uh, me learning Spanish. And I will tell you how many times I read the text or what I do in order to memorize things. Uh, so, uh, and, and my introduction is my name is Ioana and I'm a polyglot and in these videos we are going to learn Spanish language. I am going to learn Spanish language with you guys. And as you could see on my table it says pronouns and today's video we're gonna learn pronouns. I know, I don't know, this, this is not very useful for you. But the reason that I write this here is because I would like you to also write it down. I did write it down. I can show you whatever you see on the board is here as well. And whatever I tell you that you should do, I did myself and I'm going to do myself. So in this lesson, we are going to talk about pronouns in Spanish. And then we're going to read a small text in Spanish and we're going to study the words that we don't know, which are quite a lot for me. They were about page of 50 words. Okay. The personal pronouns in the language of Spanish. I'm gonna use this word. I did, so in order to prepare this lesson, I did use the two books, but I like this one better. Although neither of them was very clearly structured. Um, so I wrote the pronouns in my board. I, io, you, tu, and we have in Spanish uh, so-called formal. This is something that we don't have in English. The formal form of you in Spanish is usted. This is a uh, formal in Spanish, in Italian, in Bulgarian, in Russian is a form that we don't have in English. In English, you use you and that's it. In Spanish, we have usted. He is el, she, ella. They, masculine, elos, feminine, elas. Very simple. And then we have pl plural. We for male is nosotros. Female, nosotras. You for plural is ustedes. Formal, informal. And then we have uh, plural. Vosotros, vosotras. I did write this down here in, in my notebook. And I will advise you to do the same and I'm going to repeat them twice. If you're going to use this video to learn English also would be useful to you. So, I, io, you, tu, you formal, usted, 
he, el, she, ella, and they, elos for masculine, elas feminine. Then we have we for masculine, nosotros, feminine, nosotras, plural is ustedes, and masculine, vosotros, vosotras. Write it down. The pronouns are the base of any phrase that you're going to need. And, and we study those. We have those now. So what I'm going to make you do, and this is going to be your first homework, is to say one phrase, even a very short one, with each of those pronouns. And I did that. I wrote it down. And you can use the Google Translator, it doesn't matter, but I'm asking you to write it down, exactly what I did, and pronounce it. You can use Google Translator, for example, or you can use any phrase, you can open any Spanish book and choose and make a small phrase about I or, or yo in Espanol, but I want you to talk about yourself. Sorry. I will tell you, the first phrase that I, I wrote is Yo soy linda. I am beautiful. Yo soy linda. You can write Yo soy bionda. Yo soy alta. Yo soy gordita. Any word you want to describe yourself. Whatever it is. Tu eres inteligente. You are intelligent. Tu eres inteligente. You are intelligence. Elos y elas soy amigos. They are friends. Ser is to be. Ser to be. Write down this word. And estar is also to be. Tener is to have. Tener to have, viver, to live, to live, live, live life, live its go away, es andar via. I am leaving you now, es, es te esto lasciando, I don't know in Spanish, but it's mean, I'm going away now. So, now we create, I create, vosotros sois el mejor. You are the best. Vosotros soy el mejor. Elos o elas están feliz. They are happy. Elos tenían el perro. Elos tenían el perro. It means they have a dog. Elos viven en Europa. Elos viven en Europa. Ustedes viven en un castelo. It means they are living in a castle. Ustedes viven en un castelo. They are living in a castle. So you see I create a very, very simple, very basic phrases here. And I also speak them out. I would advise you to do exactly the same. Find it. Sorry. Find the simple word that you want to say with all the pronouns that we just passed by. And then we're going to make a little exercises based on this book. So, something that I was a little bit puzzled about and I want to share when I was doing this uh, exercises here that I'm going to do with you. Uh, we for feminine is nosotras. Nosotras. We. The ladies. Nosotras. Estamos. Trabajadoras. Trabajadoras feminile. We are hardworking ladies. I. You. They feminine. Ellas. Elas están mirando la ventana. They are looking the window for ladies. The plural masculine is elos. You in informal plural in Spanish is 
we have you feminine ma masculine nosotros nosotros vosotros vosotras these two we have to find out the difference uh, maybe ah this is uh, one is informal and one is formal get away then we have singular you e tu tu eres intelligente every time i say a pronoun i try to connect to something and i would like you to do exactly the same exercise while you're watching this video you formal informal usted so formal of you is usted or ustedes usted is uh, plural form plural so Usted está, he is um, gordito. You cannot do this because gordito is chubby. Usted uh, tiene buenas maneras. He have a good manners. Usted. And we masculine nosotros. I, I did uh, make these exercises in this book. If you want to purchase the book, you can follow the classes with me. I did also read the second uh, pronouns in the other book, which was not so clear. And then we have to write a correct pronoun. Uh, and, and I did that. And I'm going to just read a phrase in Spanish and in English. And if you want to make the exercise with me while you're watching this video, I will advise you to write in Spanish and in English the phrase one time. This is going to help your brain and also pronounce it. Yo voy a tu casa. I am going to your house. Nosotros son, somos tus amigos. Nosotros somos tus amigos. We are your friend. Ustedes sois los mejores. It means you are the best in a masculine form. Ustedes sois los mejores. You are a man, we're going to have vosotros here, I see I made an error, son hombres. Vosotros son hombres, you are males. Elos son amigos, they are friends. Elos son amigos. Elas, ella eres mujer. You are a woman. I will use tu eres mujer, sound more natural to me. I don't know why. We continue the exercises. El y ella van a casarse. Pablo y María van a casarse. It means Pablo and María are getting married. Elos van a casarse en una iglesia. They are getting married in a church. Elos están invitados a la boda. Boda is uh, celebrating, it's like party. Uh, here they translated, you are in, they are invited to the wedding. Elos está Tais invitados a la boda. They're invited to the marriage. You see, uh, when you start pronouncing a new language for the first time, it's really embarrassing, I would say. And the reason that I do this is because I, I want you to see that you don't learn languages being comfortable. This is not comfortable for me. And, and I know this board is not so good. I, I should... <laughs> Think something more intelligent however this is how you do it being uncomfortable 
vosotras querías ir a la boda. A Lisa and you, vosotras querías a ir a la boda. It means, do you, uh, you and Lisa, informal, do you guys want to go to the wedding? Nosotras tenemos una sorpresa para ellos. We have a surprise for them. Nosotras tenemos una sorpresa para ellos. Nosotras, we. Pedro vive en Mexico. Él vive en Mexico. Julia vive en Ecuador. Ella vive en Ecuador. Ta, 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 ta. And now, what you gonna say to or usted? This is uh, your grandma, and I was a little bit puzzled here because I was not so sure. But in uh, in it seems like in Spanish or in Mexico, in the Spanish culture, usted is used for. It's a formal and it's used for older people or people in her position or when you have an age gap. So if you say your grandma, you're going to say usted. Co-worker, it's tú. Flight attendant, usted. Usted is always official, like sir or ma'am. Your boss is usted, a little boy. To professor usted repair person or anybody is usted your cousin is to your best friend is to father-in-law usted so the reason that I read this part is because um, it's kind of difficult to understand why in Spanish you use usted instead of to use to and and sometimes I heard this and I was like, why is usted? What do you mean usted? Usted, ustedes, it's a formal way to address a person. Okay, let's read a few. Um, Tú querías venir conmigo. If it's my best friend... I would say, tú querías venir conmigo en parque. Do you want to go with me to the park? But if it's a colleague or formal, you're going to stay, you're going to say, usted querías venir conmigo. You can use both, tú or usted, depending on how formal is your relationship with someone. Ustedes son mis mejores amigos. Amigos, you are my best friend. Ustedes is plural. And we have it here, formal and formal. So we use usted as a formal addressing of elderly, of boss of somebody in a society that is not very close to us. And then, ustedes is a plural form of they. Ustedes son mis mejores amigos. They are or you are my best friends. Okay. Ustedes son los lo mejores. Okay, I like this one. Usted son los mejores seguidores que un youtuber podría podría tener. Podría. Okay, I know what this means. I'm so sorry. I am starting to learn with you. I'm really gonna speak Spanish. I swear to you, after one year, I'm gonna make a video in Spanish, believe it or not. And this is where all these things start. This is an experiment, and I want to show you how difficult is that. And if you do want to study Spanish with me, this is the way, being uncomfortable and pronouncing the words badly. So let's try again. Usted son 
los mejores seguidores que un youtuber podría tener. It means you are the best followers that youtuber could have. We're going to read this slowly in Spanish and in English. You can learn English with this video as well. Usted son los mejores seguidores que un youtuber podría tener. You are the best followers that a YouTuber could have. Mejores is the best. Seguidores is followers. Podría is could. And tener is to have. To the best friend. Tú sabes cocinar muy bien. You can cook very well. Tú sabes cocinar muy bien. And... You could see here how much I wrote. I wrote the pronouns. I read twice this lecture before you see it. So you can see the video twice if you want to have the result that I will have in the end of this free Spanish course with me. And then this is the second part of this video that is also out of my comfort zone we are going to read one page of a story which i read one time and i underline all the words that i don't know you see it's only in spanish and i will tell you what i did let's read esta mañana cuando me he levantado sabes que es lo primero que hecho esta mañana en cuanto me he levantado no no me he puesto a ver facebook no tampoco me, me he puesto a consultar el móvil ni a ver vídeos en youtube ni a ver fotografías en instagram lo primero que hecho esta mañana y cuanto me he levantado ha sido mirar por la ventana si sí, he abierto la ventana de mi dormitorio y yo mirando yo he yo mirando fuera he mirado hacia el cielo y me he puesto contento contento Forgive me. Y me he puesto contento. ¿Sabes por qué me he puesto contento? Me he puesto contento porque he visto el cielo. He visto un cielo azul precioso sin nubes. Y me, el bien tiempo me pone de... Y a mí el buen tiempo me pone de buen humor. A mí el buen tiempo siempre me ha puesto de buen humor. Y entonces, ¿sabes qué he hecho? Pues me, du me he duchado, me he vestido, he desayunado de pri he des desayunando de prisa, me he levado los dientes, me ha Afietado me he puesto las gafas de sol o cu cuchido la moquilla y salido de casa. La verdad es que tendría que haberme cuidada y preparar algunas clases y corregir los deberes de mis estudiantes, pero no tenía ganas. Fuera a el sol. Se estaba muy bien y no me apetecía nada, apetecía nada que quedarme en casa. Al fin y al cabo en Londres no eche buen tiempo muy a menudo y hay que aprovechar los días de sol. Al fin y al cabo en Londres, no hace buen tiempo, es muy amenido 
y hay que aprovechar los días de sol. You see how bad I read? It's because I, it's probably the first thing I read loud. And, and I know it's funny. And I know if you try to do this with me, you're going to feel embarrassed and funny as I feel right now. But don't give up here. It's uncomfortable, but you already read one page with me in a very funny Spanish. And this is great. So I'm going to read you. All the words that I did not know, and I write them on a piece of paper over here, and you're going to learn these words with me. Levanto o levantado, it means to get up. Levanto, levantado, get up or stand up. I am going to give you the words in Spanish and in English, and your homework will be to study them. I study them, and you should do the same. If you want to learn the language with me. So what I did, I will show you. I, I wrote them down here under. You're going to see all this is, is alphabet. I write levantado. Get up. Levantado. Get up. So I write the word. I pronounce it. And I said the meaning in English. So what this do? You have the senses of feeling and touching and writing. Writing and seeing. Levantado. Then what you do, you pronounce the word levantado or levantarme. It means to wake up. And then you recall the meaning. Levantado. Levantado, it means to get up. Tempoco. Neither. So for all these words that I'm going to say twice in English and in Spanish, I want you to do exactly this work that I'm doing right now. Just have in mind, Spanish is very easy to write. You write exactly what you hear. So with some exceptions, but most of the time, yes. So you're not going to have a very hard time to make this exercise that I just show you. Tempoco, neither. Ha sido. Has been, ha sido, has been. Dormitorio, dormitorio, it's mean bedroom, where you sleep. Hacia, it's towards or versus something. Prezioso, precious. Me pone, makes me. Entonces, entonces, salía les cales. And then, I went up the stairs. Deprisa. Ah, deprisa. It's like quickly. Afeitado is shave. Afeitado. Las gafas de sol. Sunglasses. Gafas de sol. Sunglasses. Mochila. Mochila is a backpack. Usually it's a school backpack. And this is a slang. E is to have. I don't know exactly how to pronounce it. So if you do this class with me, you can write below how to pronounce it. Io tenia ie. H-E. I'm not so sure if you write it or you say ie or tenia. Tendria is would have. Tendria is I had to do something. Io tendria lavar la platos. I had to uh, wash the dishes, I think. Corregir is to correct. Corregir to correct. De, deberes, it's homework or school homework. Deberes, homework. Ganas, I didn't want to. Tengo la gana, no tengo la gana. I want something, I don't want something. Apetecia, apetecia. O quería, I wanted something. Y al cabo. In the end, or in the end of the day, menudo. Menudo is a little or small or tiny. Que aprovechar to take advantage of something or have fun. And now that I have all these words, I'm going to read this, the meaning of this in English. You see what we do? We did it in Spanish. We study the words that we don't know, which I tell you how I did. And now I'm going to read it and tell you what this little story means. 
esta mañana, this morning, cuando me he levantado, when I wake up or got up. ¿Sabes qué es lo primero que yo he hecho esta mañana en cuanto me he levantado? Do you know what's the first thing that I did this morning when I get up? No, no me he puesto a ver Facebook. No, I did not put myself to watch, to see Facebook. No, tampoco me he puesto a consultar el móvil ni a ver videos en YouTube, ni a ver las fotografías en Instagram. No, neither I put myself to consultar is consult or check my mobile phone, nor see videos on YouTube, nor see photographies on Instagram. The first thing that I did this morning, la primero que yo eche esta mañana en cuando me he levantado, ha sido mirar por la ventana. Ha sido, it's a form of a verb, and it means has been. So, the first thing that I did this morning when I get up, it was to look the window, or to look outside the window. Yet, si he aperto la ventana de mi dormitorio y me he mirando fuera. Yes, I opened the window of my bedroom and I look outside. I look e mirando hacia el cielo e me he puesto contento. Y me he puesto y me ha puesto contento. Yes, I look toward the sky, el cielo is sky, e me he puesto contento and I feel content or happy. ¿Sabes por qué me he puesto contento? Do you know why I feel content or happy? Me he puesto contento porque he visto el cielo. ¿Por qué? I was uh, feeling content because I see the sky. He visto un cielo azul precioso sin nubes. I see a blue sky. Precioso, it means precious or lovely. So I see a, a beautiful blue sky without clouds, sin nubes, without clouds. Y ya mi el bien tiempo me pone de buen humor. And for me, the good weather gives me, me pone, it makes me have a good humor or good mood. A mí el bien, bien tiempo siempre me ha puesto de buen humor, buen humor. For me, the good weather has always bring me a good mood. E entonces, and then, do you know what I did? ¿Sabes qué yo he hecho? Pues, then I shower, put my clothes, and I, this pizza is... Deprisa, deprisa. I, I'm confusing this with depresa. Deprisa is quickly or fast, like this. So, he desayunando deprisa, me he levado los dientes, me he afietado, he me puesto, me, me he puesto las gafas de sol, he cogido la mochila, he salido de casa. Then, me he duchando, I shower, me vestido, I put clothes on. Desayunando deprisa, 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 it's and quickly eat breakfast. I wash my tooth, lavando los dientes. Afietado is shaved. Y me he puesto las gafas de sol. I shaved and I put my sunglasses. And I got cogido. Cogido is to take. I couldn't find, but it means to take. La mochila he salido. Mochila he salido de casa. I grabbed my backpack and I went out of my home. La verdad es que yo tenía que corregir, cuidero y preparar algunas clases. The truth is... 
that I was supposed to be careful and prepare algunas clases and prepare some classes y corregir los deberes de mis estudiantes, pero no tenía ganas. And to correct the homework of my students, but I didn't have desire or I didn't want to. Fuori hachia el sol. Outside was sunny. Es, se estaba muy bien y yo no me apete, apetecía nada a quedarme en casa. Apetecía es... I, I didn't want to or like desire for something. So there was sunny outside and it was so lovely, so nice that I didn't feel like quedarme, it's close myself and sit inside of the home. In the end of the day or uh, al fin y al cabo. Al cabo is mean at the end and al fin y al cabo. In the end of the day, en Londres non eche buen tempo. In the end of the day, in Londra was not usually uh, a great weather. Menudo it's small. E a menudo y hay que aprovechar los días de sol. This means in a little that you have, you have to enjoy or take advantage of the sunny days. Wow. Do you see? So, all the words that I didn't know, I write them. And I did this exercise. I write them. Pronounce them. Me pone de buen humor. It makes me feel good. I write them down. I will advise you to do the same. And stay tuned, me and you, we are going to have many of those very weird classes in Spanish that I'm not so sure if you pronounce something, if you don't, but we are not going to stop. So that was studying Spanish together with you guys. If you like this video, press your thumbs up and share and subscribe. And if you use this video to learn English, I hope you like it too. Gracias, mis amigos. Buenos días. Ciao.